Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a very interesting, beautiful hummingbird feeder from Bilantan. It's a very nice, beautiful construction with a lot of very interesting features. We have even a solar panel here on top. We have a good camera and we have two hummingbird houses. And we have this feeder tray in the container for some liquid for the hummingbirds. Comes also with very good mounting options. So pretty sophisticated construction i would say very interesting device definitely worth to look into that so i'm going to show you what to get in the box how to set it up that we have it like that how connect it to the app and then how we can use it outside so i'm going to try to catch some footage and show you everything there so stay tuned till the very end of the video and so here we have the large packaging everything comes nicely protected we get a nice card with a lot of information faqs inside and the whole information, how to set it up, how to install the brackets and all the specs. So we get the roof, we get the tray, we get even this strap to mount it easy on a pole or on a tree. We get the whole installation material, even a USB charging cable, even some screws and anchors and a lot of accessories. Of course, the beautiful solar panel standard micro USB. With a full mount, more insulation material, even screwdriver, then a very solid mounting bracket, main part of the bird feeder. Everything looks really solid. And so we have everything here. Solar panel has a standard quarter inch tripod mount, and the mount is very flexible, so we can point it in any direction. Of course, the cable is not very long, but the idea is to mount it on the roof anyway. But technically, you could mount this anywhere. And I would say the solar panel has good quality, looks really good. These kind of solar panels are usually very efficient. But if you want to place the bird feeder in a place where you don't have a lot of sun, you can buy a micro USB extension cable mounted somewhere else. So absolutely no problem. But of course, in this case, I use it on the roof. We align the hole and then use the screw. And of course, secure it with the nut from underneath. And to secure it, we can use the screwdriver from the set. Yeah, I would say definitely best or most flexible mount for a solar panel on a bird feeder. I've already had a couple of bird feeders. That's the best solution so far. And then it goes on top of the bird feeder. Of course, that's the top. That's not the feeder tray. And so we can put it here. Leave the opening open for the bird food. But you can also close it here and open easily again. And as far as I can see, we have to attach these hooks on top, on the roof actually. So this is then for the hummingbird houses. Just screw it inside. And then the houses need to go like that. The other one on the left side. Okay, so I guess they are then like that. Need to point to the front. And so we lift them on top. Let them slide in. Secure the roof here on top. Push it fully down. Let's see how this looks. Not too bad. Of course, we can a little bit straighten it even after that. And so the micro USB cable can be inserted here from the back. We have this opening. And so here we have all the access ports nicely protected against water. Of course, we need a micro SD card. Usually I recommend a fast class 10 32 gigabytes card. We push it here inside. Pins go to the back. Here on the right side we have the on off. So we'll own press here, we see the blue light. And so we scan the QR code in the front with the camera. So you can choose for example here Google Play Store, install it from here. If the camera is saying that network configuration has timed out, you can use a toothpick in this hole here, push it down for a couple of seconds and then it should reset. In the meantime, you can open the app, set up an account. Then we hit the plus either here or here for new camera. Click on add device, battery camera. Here we see nice instructions. Confirm, click on next. Very important to give all authorizations. And we select the 2.4G network. Make sure that you are already connected to the same 2.4G network with your mobile phone. After connecting to the camera, you can change to any kind of internet access. You can also use 3G, 4G, 5G from anywhere in the world. This is just to connect. And then we get the QR code which we hold in front of the camera. Okay, we got confirmation that everything is okay. 
We confirm that we heard the prompt and now it's time to finalize the installation. Make sure that you open the opening in the lid. And so we plug in the micro USB plug so it can charge nicely through the day from the sunlight. So we can push it back. It's tight, but I would say not too tight. No problem, you can still move the camera around. And so we are almost done. So if you want, you can add some liquid for the hummingbirds. We even have some measurements. So we just push it here from the top. And so we can mount this on a wall or on a tree or on a post. You can also use this strap if you want. And when this is mounted, we slide in the hummingbird feeder from the front, something like that. So that should be pretty easy. So I'm going outside to mount it and then let you know after that how it has been performing in real life. And so I had it now outside for a couple of days and it has been working really good, especially the AI detection is absolutely awesome, but also the solar panel is charging the battery nicely. You can see that here, even though we do not have a lot of sun, it's still charging. Can it see also here free forever AI bird detection and that's what we are going to check here. Just give it a little bit of time to load. And so we have here a squirrel detection, squirrel detection, pretty good. Most of it is working really good. Bird detection, no, that was me, but no problem. Usually it works really good. Here we definitely have a bird. We can click on it says blue jay confidence 97 percent and it's definitely a blue jay i can guarantee there's a blue jay so you can click on video of course it takes sometimes a little bit of time to load from the micro sd card but usually it works really good you can see what i like here is the really good quality even though we have a rather heavy squirrel here on top and the whole thing is shaking. The camera quality is still really, really good. What's very interesting with this camera is that the focus is very close. So you can see the home in the back is out of focus. We can still see it, but it's not in focus. But everything which is super close is in perfect focus, especially when it's super close like here. I've never seen so many details from a bird feeder camera. Watch the head of this squirrel. This is absolutely amazing, absolutely fantastic. Much better than anything what I've seen so far. And so from here we can download or even combine selected events. We can click on a couple of things and then combine and click on OK. But sometimes takes a little bit too long. So I highly recommend to use just single ones. Click on OK. Then we download. And so you can save it to your phone or share it from there. And so we have it live here. So we can activate, deactivate the audio. We can start video recording directly from here. If you see something, make an image or activate the siren here to chase away squirrels or other animals. And we can even use the microphone from our phone to talk to people. We can activate the illumination for the night or use automatic switching. Okay, now we have a live squirrel. Let's see if we can chase it away. Okay, and so here on the right top we have all the settings. And what we can see, we definitely have the bird recognition and the squirrel detection turned on and free for lifetime. That's awesome. You can also share the device. Of course, important to activate notifications if you want to see what's going on there. And we have more device settings. Camera on, off, device, microphone, image flip if needed, HDR, especially in this location, very helpful, night vision. And if the videos from the micro SD card are not fast enough for you or not convenient enough, for example, for sharing, then you can buy some cloud storage. We have also some other settings, more technical stuff. It has been working pretty good so far. I would say not perfect. My biggest complaint here at the moment is the playback from the micro SD card or the events in general. I mean, the AI has been working really good. I love it that we have pretty much zero false alerts. Whenever it says squirrel detection or bird detection, then there was something and usually it's right here. Of course, it was wrong regarding the bird detection but usually it's pretty good. With a lot of bird feeders, we get a lot of false alerts. That's definitely not the case here. 
but downloading and sharing has been sometimes a little bit difficult and I would say rather unreliable. Sometimes you have to try two, three or four times. When I clicked on share, it was just saying technical error. For example, something like that, no video or event. But of course, it's not always. If you try a couple of times, usually it's successful. You can see also takes sometimes a little bit of time to load, but usually not a big deal. Where I had most of the problems is when I wanted to combine such videos, for example, here. That's a really good option to combine so you don't have to download single ones because it could take a long time. So when you select a couple of them, you click on OK, then it tries to combine and sometimes it's not loading them. It would be a really nice thing if it always worked like here in this case, of course, when I want to show you, then it's working. I mean, it's a good thing actually, but I have been struggling quite a lot. Now let's try if you can see the whole video. Yeah, it's still a 14 seconds video. It was supposed to connect it. Looks like it hasn't been doing that or I did something wrong. Also sharing in a lot of cases hasn't been working. But in general, I would say it's a nice thing. Really good construction, especially regarding the Colibri. But of course, there were no Colibris. It's pretty hard to see them down here in Florida. I'm still waiting for one to show up. But it works also for normal birds and squirrels. Yeah, definitely. If you're looking for something really solid for squirrels, birds, and especially for Colibris, then this could be an awesome thing for you. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time